Welcome to Holly Terminator X Training Part 28. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at working with our Nitrous Control Tuning feature in our Terminator X software. And we have a couple different ways we can integrate in working with our Nitrous Control. Whether we have a wet or a dry kit, progressive or non-progressive type Nitrous Control, the Holly is going to allow us to dial things in properly. So we turn the Nitrous on and off when we like, also going in and adding the appropriate amount of fuel and spark timing associated with the Nitrous that we're injecting to the engine. We have a lot to cover. Let's jump into our video so we can check all this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our Nitrous Control programming within our Holly Terminator X software. We have various different ways we can implement Nitrous Control, whether we have a wet or a dry kit, progressive, non-progressive. The Holly Terminator X can deal with any of these different types of Nitrous Control. Let's first break down what's going on with the Nitrous Control. It's going to be very clear of what choice we need to work with based on our application that we have for the Nitrous we're trying to spray into our engine. And we'll go through some of the programming details for the various different types or choices that we have within our Nitrous programming. So we're going to go here to Toolbox, and we're going to go into our Add Individual Config. We can find here, if we move into our folders, we have one that's labeled Nitrous. This is what we want to click on. Now we also have in our folder here a default.nitrous ICF. Let's click on this and let's click Open. It's going to allow you to start to take a look at the various things to program. Now we're going to have our Nitrous Bottle, that's our Nitrous ICF icon up here at the top. If we click on this, this allows us to take a look at the programming within our Terminator X software. So we have a stage one here, and we have input outputs that we need to assign and start to work with. Now, let's jump back in here to stage one, and let's go in here to the nitrous type. We need to understand the different types of nitrous. This might be a little bit confusing. Let's break this down first, and then it's gonna allow you to choose the right type based on your application that you're working with. So we find that we have a wet non-progressive, wet progressive, dry non-progressive, and dry progressive. Wet non-progressive means that you're spraying nitrous and you're spraying fuel through fuel jets into your maybe your intake or your charge pipe if you're forced induction. Um, this is probably the most classic way to work with nitrous control. We're not going to be adding the additional fuel that we need through our fuel injectors. We're going to be doing it all purely mechanical based through fuel jetting. So again, we have our nitrous jet that's going to be restricting allowing a certain amount of nitrous in. Whatever the relationship or the ratio is to that nitrous, we'll be having a fuel jet to add the appropriate amount of fuel. We'll find that it's also here called non-progressive. This means that we are controlling the nitrous in a basic on or off type control. We want to turn on at X RPM, turn off at X RPM. Very, very basic, very simple. This is probably the most traditional or classic way you'll find spraying nitrous <clears throat> that most people are going to be familiar with when we're talking about working with nitrous. Uh, our next option here, wet progressive. Now, wet again signifies that we're spraying fuel in relation to our nitrous through jets externally that the Holly is not going to be controlling. The progressive is something that we are a little bit more newer type of control on our nitrous here. That means we're going to be pulse width modulating con control a nitrous solenoid. That's going to require you to buy a solid state relay and a nitrous solenoid. I'll cover that as we go through the video here. I'll give you some part numbers to what to use from the NOS brand products. They work very well. Um, progressive allows you to ramp in the nitrous progressively over time or over engine RPM gives us a lot of flexibility of how we want our nitrous to be uh, brought into the engine. It's going to be really, really ideal for a drag race car. You can start to vary how much nitrous you're spraying based on time after you've launched the car. That's going to be really key because you can put down a lot of power to launch and start to progressively bring in more power as you feed more nitrous in. So we'll discuss that again a little bit. We also have a dry non-progressive and a dry progressive. Now, we'll find that the dry signifies that we're only spraying nitrous, we're not spraying fuel. The additional fuel that we need to spray is going to be handled through the fuel injectors themselves. So we're gonna be adding additional fuel, commanding them to spray more fuel out of the injector with our Holly system here. Pretty basic, we'll talk about that again as we go along. Um, so we have a non-progressive, progressive, non-progressive non again, basic on off control, and then progressive is gonna be that pulse with modulated style uh, control to a uh, a, a nitrous solenoid that's uh, pulse with modulated compatible that allow you progressively start to bring in more nitrous over time or over engine RPM. So that's going to be our different choices that we have to program and work with here. So let's go here and just choose our very basic option under wet non-progressive. This again is the most traditional way to work with your nitrous control. So now that we've selected our type here, let's talk about the wiring in this non-progressive type control. It's actually pretty simple, but there's some things we need to know. We jump here to our inputs outputs. We're going to find here under function that we have our nitrous enable. This is going to be our arming switch that we have to define. We see ECU pin here is set to non-defined. 
we can see input type here is either choosing between a ground or a 12 volt. We're going to be using ground um, and then assigning all of that. And there are nitrous outputs here. We have our nitrous stage one out. We can see this is set. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.